So congratulations, a fantastic first feature film. Thank you. An incredibly sexy film. How, how comfortable are you doing all that sexy stuff on stage and now on screen? I think what's great about the idea and the concept of burlesque is it is the art of the tease. We're not really revealing too much. It's very tongue-in-cheek and flirtatious, but it's very empowering, I think, for a woman to feel, you know, um, confident in her body and in her sexuality and not to feel ashamed of it in any, in any way, which I think society over the years sort of does to women. So I think um, it's a very inspiring story and, and very inspiring to be a woman and to be um, enjoying yourself on stage like that. And it's said of your character in the film that she couldn't have got that voice without having it, well, if she'd had it easy in life. Right, right. Do you think that, does that apply to you as well? I absolutely think so. I think part of my drive and my passion for what I do definitely comes from, um, you know, sort of a chaotic childhood and a difficult um, past here and there. Um, I think those are the lessons in life that make you that much more stronger and that push you to thrive rather than uh, to fall. Now you did another raunchy, impressive performance on the on the X Factor for us. Um, <laughs> did you did you enjoy doing the X Factor? And uh, what did you think of the contestants, Rebecca, and then the winner, Matt? Um, I didn't have a chance to really watch the full show because I was backstage getting ready for my own performances with Rebecca and then performing a number from Burlesque. But um, Rebecca was such a sweetheart. I really enjoyed performing with her and so endearing and so you know sweet and vulnerable. I I adored her. And did you get to meet the winner, Matt? I didn't, no. But you were, were you sorry Rebecca didn't win? Um, I don't think that's anything that she needs to feel bad about. I was in a similar competition um, on television when I was uh, seven years old, and it was called Star Search at the time, big show back then, and I, I didn't win either, and look at me now. So Rebecca should have nothing to feel bad about. Now, in burlesque, miming is a talking point. They're first miming to the songs. Right. And it's been quite controversial recently, pop stars miming on stuff. What do you think mm -hmm. about pop stars miming? I mean, I think everyone has their own different style, but my style has never been, you know, to lip sync. Um, part of what I love about live performing is that it's real and it comes from the heart, and, um, you know, there's really nothing false about it, you know? And so I, I, when I'm on stage, I like to live and be in the moment, and that's part of um, singing live for me. Now, I'm told the secret to great singing is vocal warm-ups. Can you teach me any vocal warm-ups? What are your routines? Oh, goodness. I do have a warm-up, uh, you know, sort of that takes 20 minutes to get through the whole thing. So we're not going to head into that direction. But yes, I vocal warm-up. I, I do um, Ricola throat drops. I have a little bit of throat spray that just, you know, sort of um, opens up your vocal cords. And, uh, you know, trying to rest. Those are the secrets. You can't give me a <laughs> highlight of your uh, warming-up routine. Um, ooh. <laughs> That's pretty... A little something. That's it, no. Thank you. Um, so burlesque obviously has its origins in Europe. Um, would you ever do a film, I asked the director this, and he, see, he wasn't sure, would you ever do a film about other traditional European dances, Morris dancing? I'm not sure about Morris dancing. What is that? It's a traditional English dance with kind of sticks and bells. Oh, I have to check that out. Maybe not sexy. What, <laughs> what about Irish dancing, uh, river dance, that kind of thing? Um, I have yet to check that out too, but I would take on any challenge, you know, if I had to do it for a film, um, it would definitely be something that I would study and uh, look into. Finally, the Macarena. Do you know the Macarena? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I would take a pass on the Macarena. Couldn't do a film around it, I guess. <laughs> Christina, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you.